Um, hey guys, it's me, uh, JGamerFan. This is going to be a response to Big Al's uh, rant about penis. I'm starting to bullshit again. Oh, yeah. Basically, what PETA is is animal rights people. But, in West Side, well, I'm going to use West Side Steve's definition because it's a lot better to describe them. They're pretty much the Jack Thompsons of animal rights. You heard me, they're like the Jack Thompsons of animal rights. They like to make all these assumptions that all these all meat and dairy products will hurt you and stuff. That's what they do. It's false propaganda. <laughs> yeah. They like to say that tell children's parents I heard from Big House video that they like to tell children's parents the, that they like to kill animals and that and they ha and be the hand of them fake buckets of blood, give them pamphlets about it and all, all this other propaganda. Man. They're just, and they claim it as research. Yeah. Well, it's not research if they're just making assumptions. There's no facts in an assumption. An assumption is just like a hypothesis, but it's not proven. So they haven't proven anything. But I want to get on the one of the biggest points of Big Al's video. I want to get on to the point where, well, Peter's most recent act of all the things they did. Out of, out of their crappy, nope, I don't think even their crappy, um, new Super Chicken Sisters tops this. And that game sucked out loud. But that, well, no, no, no. That game does not top this at all. Guess what they did? They sent out a letter. I'm going to tell you about what they said they did. Basically, they sent a letter to Ben and Jerry's. To stop using cow milk because it's torturing them, sucking the life out of them, and using breast milk. Let me repeat, repeat it. Human butter breast milk. They want to use human butter milk instead of cow milk. Well, cows have to be milk so they don't have cancer and stuff, you know, so they don't die. You know? It's just, what is PETA on? Are they on some hardcore crack? Because that's what it sounds like. It's like they're on crack. Man, they must have been smoking. Man, they must have been smoking something when they came up with that. Oh, man. I haven't even got to the craziest point yet. I haven't. What? What? And plus, women, they would have to have a lot of sex to produce that much milk. And I don't think women are going to be able to have sex every day, alright? They're going to get tired of a guy doing this to them. Sorry about that uh, little inappropriate hand gesture, but seriously. There's, yeah, women aren't going to want that all the time. Maybe, want the, maybe once a week at most. But anyway, I'm going a little off topic, but you know what I mean about producing milk, though. Now I want to tell you the other crazy thing from a Big house video. They said milk causes autism. Yeah, milk causes autism. Man, it's like PETA has no logic. Seriously, where is their logic going? Are they just pulling the random ideas, uh, random ideas out of a hat or something? I think PETA is just, ugh. Man, PETA, they need to really wake up. Yeah, milk causes autism. No, autism is a, a disease given by birth by missing chromosomes. Yes, quote a big alpha from that. And, yeah, why why do they have to blame all these foods causes all these diseases they can't cause? Like, oh, is meat going to cause AIDS? Or is meat going to cause milk going to cause acne? Is... Is milk gonna cause erectile dysfunction? Is is milk gonna cause 
bladder cancer? Is it going to cause mental retardation? Is it going to cause all these things? Man, PETA is just a laughable excuse for media. Man, you know what PETA is? They're like the corrupted media. They don't give us the full story. They only give us, like, one part of it. They don't give us, like, the whole big picture. They just give us, like, this one small part of it. They don't give us the whole big picture. Um, yeah. And that's pretty much I have to say about PETA because I don't have much to say. In fact, I just... They just need to stop. They just need to stop blaming all these foods causing health problems that it can't cause. And they need to stop complaining to people who eat meat and stuff. But it's like Big Al said, there's too much of us that eat meat. I love meat. Meat tastes good. I love meat. I love pork chops. I love bacon. I love ham. All that good stuff. Beef, all that good stuff. That is good. PETA needs to realize there's too much of us eating meat. Yes. Besides, we're... Besides. Besides, vegetarians, they need some meat. Yeah, they're, they need some meat, you know? They're missing meat. Anyway, that's all I have to say about, um... Um, this whole thing with PETA, with their bullshit. This is pretty much my video response to Big Al. I hope uh, you guys and he enjoyed it. Um, that's all I gotta say about PETA. Jay Gamer fan, over and out.